right here, right now. I'm angry. Real angry. I'm white and I've got everything I need. No one clutches their purses when they're in a room alone with me. And I can drive for any neighborhood I please. At any hour, and the police don't do a thing. So if I see a penny on the ground, I leave it alone and fucking flip it. I'm a straight white male in America. I've got everything I need. I'm a guy getting paid more than a girl with a degree. And I can walk down the streets after dark, no one wants to rape me. And I can get a girl pregnant and just as easily flee. Just like my straight white male dad did to me. So if I see a penny on the ground, I leave it alone and fucking flip it. I'm a straight white male in America. I've got all the luck I need. I've got a pile of broken mirrors and I'm walking under ladders and I'm spilling tons of salt. But to me that doesn't matter because my skin and my gender and my orientation are the best things to have if you live in this nation. I recommend it highly. A penny on the ground I leave it alone and fucking flip it I'm a straight white male in America I've got all the luck I need Shit's gonna work out for me Cause I'm a straight white male in America I've got all the luck I need Hey everybody, welcome to the Intellectual Dollar Tree We do the show live every uh, Wednesday 7 p.m. Pacific right here on Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash Echoplex Media. It's been a busy week around here. We had episode 400 of the Plex. Then the next day we recorded episode 100 of How the Tech Are You, which is our tech show. And then last night was episode 200 of uh, Down Ballot. So this is not episode anything 100 of uh, the Intellectual <laughs> Dollar Tree. Sorry about that, HK. But you can support this project, uh, echoplexmedia.com. Click the support tab. Or go to eplex.store, pick up some swag, or get a membership there, or patreon.com slash echoplex, also a place to grab memberships, but it's not as cool as eplex.store. I'm producer Dave, and you can find me on Grinder. I'm HK Perrin, you can find me on Mastodon, at hperrin at port87.social. And I think that the, the most important episodes are the ones that are powers of two, like episode 128, episode 256, 512, 1024. We just passed 256 of this show, actually. Oh, we didn't celebrate. <laughs> if if only you had any idea what the fuck was going on with your own podcast, you might have had a celebration <laughs> for that. I'm sorry, I don't count the episodes. You don't have to count them, HK. They're numbered on the website. <laughs> uh, You're like, what's our website again? <laughs> I just can't be bothered. <laughs> so, I was... <laughs> Everybody listening on the podcast, sweet relief. You will not be hearing the uh, Jordan Peterson and uh, Elon Musk uh, discussion as I had planned. That'll be in a uh, red light for the uh, members and the live viewers only. Um, what I wanted to do is every once in a while, we take somebody from outside of the IDW and sort of try to compare and contrast them with the IDW characters that we cover uh, more regularly. And I thought that... Uh, I found a perfect candidate for that, but also we could compare her to, I don't know, Madison Star Moon at some points during this, I think. <laughs> so, uh, if people are not aware, I've been covering the um, ongoing saga of the anti-Scientology community and the cast of characters over there, uh, most of whom have been misbehaving, grifting, engaged in parasocial friendships, and then parasocial breakups. Uh, it's never quite clear in that community week to week who's going to be mad at who and who's going to hate each other. Um, I mean, I stay consistent and try to piss everyone off, but there have been people in that community who, for reasons unknown, uh, don't get too mad at me even when I do dumb shit. So maybe it's just a matter of character, track record, and accurate reporting. Also, real quick on this, if people haven't checked it out, there are I never write on the blog, but I wrote uh, one article in uh, March of 2023 and then another in March of 2024. 
Those were my only articles, both of those years, and they're about the same subject. They're about the anti-Scientology community, and they're both really good articles. They both got uh, shared around a lot, and they have a lot of good information, and maybe have a lot of backstory for what's going on here. I don't want to spend too much time on the backstory here, uh, primarily because it's not really that important for what I want to talk about. HK, you have no idea who the fuck Ono Nora is, right? Not a clue. Do you see the uh, still? I do, yeah. <laughs> does it does it remind you of anything? Uh, like it looks like something out of War of the Worlds. I mean, it's just like it's like a volcano, right? Lava, and it's breaking news under attack. Oh, look at look at our overlays all messed up again, everybody. This is a live show, so <laughs> there's two of HK. Let's go ahead and get rid of the the one of his that was behind behind the alerts. Things are already going great around here tonight. Um. <laughs> But I mean, is there any maybe IDW figure who's who this reminds you of? Maybe the color scheme, maybe maybe the 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 uh, hyperbole uh, in the topic. Uh, I don't know what you're getting at, Eric and Brett. This is Eric and Brett. Eric they, and Brett. Okay, they have to do like emergency podcasts when people are making fun <laughs> of them, and like everything's about them, like being being gone after by people who are just doing it in bad faith and everybody's are like sock puppets and fake accounts and <laughs> and the and and aesthetically it looks a little like the sam harris the 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 what is it the waking up podcast or whatever just with like the red with the white with the white uh like impact font writing on it mm -hmm. it um yeah it's there is never not never there has been in the past maybe once or twice a perfect storm of someone or some set of events that is everything that we talk about. And it's this watching this person melt down over the last couple of weeks. This is going to be like the fifth or sixth vi video in this ongoing um, cascading uh, cyclonic meltdown that this person's been having. <laughs> so we're, <laughs> we're like, we're like, we have to be at the end of the meltdown here. It, there can, we can, this cannot be, this has to be the end of this meltdown, but you're going to get um, things that you recognize from conspiracy theory communities from the IDW and just like people that are none, all too happy to throw the bombs themselves, but none too happy to be on the receiving end of the bombs. And another reason I'm doing this is this is our most popular podcast and I've been trying to piss this person off and make them make a video about me for about a month now. <laughs> so I figured this might be the way to do it. Oh, and yeah, she has a theme song and it's, it's hot garbage made by AI. I, I guess without any further ado, here oh, is no. it's giving, oh, it's also giving desperate here, which I don't know what that means. Um, I think this is supposed to be, it's getting desperate. But it's giving desperate. I don't know. I'm, I mean, maybe I won't. Dave, I don't know how much more clear this could be. Breaking news under attack. It's giving desperate. And the thumbnail is lava. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is possibly the most hyperbolic thing we've watched on the intellectual dollar tree in like a month and a half. And we haven't even started the video. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> so um, just I guess real quick, this person is ostensibly an anti-Scientology creator, uh, and she's friends with that Aaron Smith Levin guy who you have seen videos of, the bald guy with the big head. Um, okay. And there's been f uh, factioning off of the anti-Scientology community with our side being, I think, I'm not going to say the non-crazy side, because we crazy too, but we're the less crazy side and the more the less inclined to extreme hyperbole and freaking out side, I suppose. And, and then there's the other side where uh, they're mad at Reddit and they're mad at Discord. Boy, howdy, are they mad at Reddit and Discord. They're not saying that they're mad at a Discord server, by the way, because most of them don't understand Discord. They're just mad at the, I guess, at the application itself, because they think that's where people <laughs> are unfairly treating them. In Discord? Oh, yeah, there's a Discord. You're in it. You, we added you to it. Uh, yeah, but but that's, that's like saying text messages are treating me unfairly. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I, I, uh, maybe I'll start texting people about this person. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just like, at that point, it's just like moderation, right? It's just other people communicating and, and moderating. Yeah, and this, this person has tried to join the Discord server, but like came in super hot and like wouldn't like reason with people or like listen to other people's criticisms and was just being, you know, violating the, the, the rules of the Discord server. And so... <laughs> 
now she thinks that there's like some cabal against her and her friends. And just, I guess one more thing, this is a situation where a lot of people don't understand the difference between friendship and being a colleague, right? You're my friend. I've yeah. met you when you came to the Bay area, you made a point of coming by. We, we shared a cigarette cause I didn't have two. <laughs> and we've gotten we've gotten shit house drunk together. We've we've done the things. But for example, Marcus Homozygote is my colleague. Never met him. He's not my homie. He's come on our show. I like having him on the show. This this Friday we're gonna have Hilda Beast on. She's my colleague. And these people don't understand. They they're incapable of making these kinds of separations. That the that the okay. other people in their YouTube community that make the similar kinds of videos aren't their friends they're it's essentially colleagues if we were if we were gonna if you know this is the profession for some people so you're gonna you're gonna get a lot of that in this video too or we might get none of that because i didn't watch this one yet so anyway this mm -hmm. is probably the longest intro we've done for anything also i don't know the video is still pretty hyperbolic even though we haven't started it <laughs> and i think it starts with a really bad ai song <laughs> oh no it doesn't this must be serious she's got a pretty cool setup yeah guys and gals and everybody in between hello we are live and i'm trying to make this happen here on instagram it is working now i mean so far based Oh, okay. So her setup is a copy of that guy Aaron Smith Levin's setup, by the way. I can't okay. have one day. I can't have one minute. Oh, this sounds this is good so far. This is very Weinsteinian. <laughs> Without shenanigans and not even the fun type of shenanigans, guys. Just absolute trash dumpster fire b s nonsense today let's just let's just get this let's get this party started <laughs> oh by the way we've been coming at she's not coming for us she's afraid of us i've we've come to the conclusion <laughs> that she knows better she does not want that smoke i don't know if word got around <laughs> about what happened to honey badger radio after they came for us but the, the, none of these people are coming for us <laughs> okay, I just got this in my inbox. And um they can come for me, I'm harmless. Like, go ahead, please. So when people um come after us for the content on this channel, even if you're the one who said it, guess who they come after? <laughs> hey, I give my Mastodon info at the beginning of every episode, so they should come after me. Do it. Come after me. In my inbox. And um yeah. I'm I'm not happy. I'm displeased. I'm displeased. <laughs> here's here's the email I just got from YouTube. Okay, actually came in uh, a couple days ago. I didn't see it. So it says, <coughs> "Hi, Oh No Nora. This is to notify you. Let me let me zoom in here so you guys can see it. Uh, that we've received a privacy complaint from an individual regarding your content. Here's the link to. Oh yeah, she like okay." This is probably about the fact that she just put, puts up private email correspondence that she has with people she's beefing with, like on her channel. Doxing their emails. Okay. Uh, she has now learned to redact their email address, but it's still kind of unethical. Like if you think you're like, if she says who's talking to you and I thought I emailed somebody to like hash something out with them and then they fucking publish it. Like I know, I know you're, you have no like real expectation of privacy, but it's still like we wouldn't do that. Right. If somebody emailed us yeah, about it's, our content, it's not illegal. It's just immoral. Now reading this thing, like, from don't you sick people after other people like, reading, that's reading this thing from YouTube is fine. Yeah. YouTube isn't <laughs> like a, a private individual. Uh, the thing, the information, uh, reported as violating privacy is at the 10 minute mark. Please note that the violation uh, may also occur and the title will not automatically result in your video being removed. My video is still up. My video is still up. This is the Potato Head Foundation again. See, that's how I know she watches our content, by the way. She hadn't started using potato to describe anything until just a couple weeks ago. Let's go <laughs> to controversial content, shall we? Okay, so this is the video. Oh, she's on a Mac. 
And here's what they say is a violation of their privacy. Let's, let's take a look here, right? And if you go to Twitter, I don't have a Twitter tab. Uh-oh, uh -oh, now look at, there's two of us watching two of her on her own video. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea this was gonna happen. <laughs> Uh, for people listening on the podcast, you may want to check the video out of this one because this is fucking weird. <laughs> this is a 37 minute video. I think we're going to easily hit the hour 20 mark on this. That's how often I think next week we need to cover this video of ourselves covering her video of her covering herself. Sure. We could maybe find mistakes that we made. Oh. Then preempt the people that fucking contact me about the mistakes you made right, guys because it's <laughs> called x now okay and you go to you go to this guy incognito so me okay real quick she keeps calling this incognito hk do you what is that what is this person's name that very clearly says incognito <laughs> So again, very clearly, this one may not be great for people on the uh, audio only podcast, but there's a, 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 a Twitter that says their name is Inco. That's I N C O space G dot N I T O. So it's yep. incognito. Yeah. It's very obviously meant to be incognito. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's showing it says at S that they are the SPTV Foundation and that this is their Twitter is a violation of privacy. Uh, sir, madam, person, camera, woman, whatever. Uh, sir, madam, person, camera, woman. <laughs> uh, she's doing the Trump thing? I don't... Okay. I don't think she's a Trump. Interesting. In interesting choice. <laughs> This is also like clearly a troll, right? This account yeah. is like clearly yeah, an account. Obviously. This is a troll account. They may yep. as well have a goat as their fucking profile picture, right? <laughs> yep. When you are on public websites using the monkeyer of Incognito and on Reddit as the same thing and monkeyer does did moniker. she mean moniker? <laughs> Oh, she wasn't they, even reading that. That's she said monkeyer. So this person might be too stupid for the war of bad ideas, right? <laughs> that was that was interesting. Monkeyer. <laughs> I don't want to say she's stupid, but so but the incognito. That's one not is, how you pronounce that word. It's moniker, moniker. No, no. But I mean the incognito one. Yeah, <laughs> but. I guess, like, if she's calling it a moniker, maybe she does know that, like, that's not the person's name. They're obviously making a joke about incognito. Except we've watched all of these and she has never said incognito, which is just how I would pronounce okay. this person's name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And having uh, the SPTV Potato Head Foundation as your thing. There is nothing that is not public about that. You have no privacy at that point. Uh, this is simply me pointing out that you are this person in multiple places. Right? So what are you, what is the goal in, in hitting my thing with yet another privacy violation? Okay, which so she doesn't even know that incognito is the one who filed the privacy file. Like it doesn't say who did it. Yeah, it, it doesn't. It just said they received a complaint. A privacy violation and was taken down by YouTube because I showed their email. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that was somebody that I mean, was that was somebody's private email address that she sh like it wasn't like info. Yeah. It wasn't like echo at echoplexmedia.com that's published all over our fucking website. It was like somebody's email address. Yeah. That you you kind of have the expectation of privacy when you're doing email correspondence with someone, you know? That's kind of like putting a return address on an envelope. You don't expect someone to be like Here's this envelope with this person's return address. Let me show it to all my audience. Right. Yeah, that's actually not a, not a bad analogy. Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to do that. Um. So yeah, I think it's just YouTube's. 
the YouTube's terms of service are probably like you can't reveal the email addresses of private individuals. I I don't know, you know, yeah. what the or fuck at least like ask them first, right? Ooh. Showed their email and showed their other name that they had posted the uh, fucking complaint under a copyright strike on me. Right? This is so meta to see myself next to myself. Look at me. Okay. So this potato head foundation is doing nothing. Okay. But literally trying to destroy my channel. Why? They claim on their, uh, let's go to their potato head YouTube. Okay. Um, <laughs> they claim on their I feel YouTube. like she, it's good to know she's a fan of ours. Right. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Okay. So they claim on their YouTube. Oh, they used to that. At least they were trying to take down Scientology, but now they're very clear about it. They're very clear about it. Uh, you know, thanks to Marilyn, Nora and Aaron, our old channel was taken down for now. We'll use this new one. And they've got the aftermath foundation. <laughs> tagged this is great promo for you guys aftermath foundation Fantastic that's you promo. oh look they're in behind austria. No, they're not. that dialogue they have a lawyer in austria i don't believe right here yeah yeah I, yep. they they've they have permission they have permission to republish that's a, okay. a, a clip of me <laughs> just just honest. noting that you're right there right. they have twenty three thousand views now why do i bitch so much about this teeny tiny oh she might say my name in this it's clearly <laughs> has no viewership nobody gives two shits because they keep fucking with my income they keep and yes it's my income reddit i'm a full-time youtuber i'm a full-time content creator that's an actual job google it okay so when you put a privacy strike on my videos or you try and do a copyright strike and the videos held in review those are thousands of views that don't generate ad revenue for me okay because that's how I make my income. I am not here putting up fake GoFundMes, Stephanie, <laughs> for people. I mean, like, yes, ostensibly she's correct, but like also you agree to all of this when you agree to use the website. Uh, like it's, it's in their terms of service, like what they have power over like to do. So, you know, you, you can't really, blame other people like the only person you have to blame is yourself for agreeing to those terms of service right like we have a lot of problems with youtube and now we don't broadcast to youtube and i've only put up podcasts uh like like up, this episode's gonna go up but i'm gonna like re-watch it to make sure that there's mm -hmm. nothing in there that the stupid computer system or whatever could construe as being breaking the terms of service not because I care that much or I make much income from YouTube, but it is, you know, it's good good to ha be able to be searched on there at least so that people could be like, oh, they're actually a Twitch streamer and then come find us here, which is the preferred thing mm -hmm. that I would like to see happen in most cases. But just real quick, what she said here, hold on. So we'll go back. Because that's how I make my income. I am not here putting up fake GoFundMes, Stephanie. So she thinks that this SPTV Foundation and Inco G Nito and... I don't know, four or five different people on Reddit or all this person named Stephanie. And that's the person whose privacy she keeps violating. <laughs> but that's okay, a person with a real name and she uses the person's full name and has violated this person's privacy. It's pretty gross ways over the last few weeks. And that's why she keeps getting these uh, notices. But it, this and does this person, Stephanie, do they claim to be all of these aliases or or no stephanie is a blogger who has been covering the shenanigans in the anti-scientology community much in the same way that i have okay but as far as unless there's something going on that i really don't understand this isn't the stephanie person okay i'm as sure as i can be without like you know how, how would you really know because i don't really know any of the, the the parties involved but as far as i can tell in Cogenita, I'm sorry, incognito. No, we'll go with Incognito. <laughs> is not Stephanie who she's talking about. And I'm going to go ahead and do Stephanie the favor of not using her last name. She's had an, enough of her full name out there and like people yeah. bothering her. But if I really want to throw a fucking throw some uh, gasoline on this fire, I should just interview Stephanie. Just get her to throw bombs at all these people. Just piss them off even more. <laughs> 
but so far, so far, like I said, this is the reason we're doing this on the intellectual dollar tree is twofold. One, because this is the, the one that's going to get reach on like Spotify and reach like outside of our community in a lot of ways. Uh, and the, the other one is because this is very already, this is like very Weinsteinian behavior, very like Sam Harris behavior. If you remember when Sam Harris got big mad at Ezra Klein, mm -hmm. this sort of has that energy. Yeah. Except he didn't accuse Ezra Klein of being like 19 different people across three different platforms. <laughs> 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 for people because like you know we can't trust you were going to give liz that money give me a break okay i'm not here asking for super chats on every live that i do talking about how poor i am and how much i need money guys i need money if somebody wants to send me a box of money please do okay like i'll be up front with you guys I need the money. That's why I do this work. Also, bonus, I get to take down Scientology while doing that. But you, this person hasn't done a video. I mean, I don't think they, I think in the last month I looked, I think they've done like two videos that really even mention Scientology, except that in, insofar as Scientology is the backdrop for mm -hmm. the community that is like having chaos and conflict right now. Yeah. So that, that would be what I would call a, a drama YouTuber. She a is a YouTuber who's, who's not there about a sp particular topic. They're there about the drama around that topic, except she, except she is the drama around that topic. So we're the okay. drama YouTubers right now, <laughs> <laughs> except we're on Twitch. <laughs> yeah. Every, everything got shifted around. Okay. All right. Because Scientology ruined my fucking life and it's continuing to ruin the lives of children around the world. Okay. No matter what certain people who want to per, you know, uh, put forth this narrative that there's no kids in Scientology, there's pictures of them in the promo every day, getting certificates, being made to do the Purif, being made to do all kinds of stuff. Like seriously, old Fritz, Seriously, maybe I should just start asking for money. My PayPal, my Venmo, and my Cash App are in the description. Okay. You were. She is asking for money. So am I, right? I mean, right now, what I'm doing, whether or not I'm actively asking for money, ev this channel is monetized and there are revenue streams that are, the bot tells mm. people about, like in the Twitch channel. And if you go to the about, there are revenue streams mentioned there, ways to, ways to, the ways that I monetize this. So whether or not I'm currently asking for money, which I am, I don't have to constantly yeah. be like, like banging the money drum for it to be obvious that I'm doing this. You know, I mean, partly because I, I care about the subject matters and sometimes it's a lot of fun, like right now, but then I'm, I do this for a living. Like nobody, nope. n there's no, there's nothing wrong with that. And I am not asking for money. I'm just asking for cheese. Send me whatever cheeses you want. Just make sure they're refrigerated in the box. I don't want to like open various cheeses and have them be all gross. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, send me all your cheese. Whatever or, uh, cheese you have, send, maybe send a, that cheese over to me. Maybe some kind of online cheese gift certificate. No, just just cheese. Unlabeled, loose in a box, cheese. Oh, and somebody like from the chat of ice. Somebody from the chat brought up something really interesting. One of the recent <laughs> videos we watched was her helping that Jamie Mustard guy huck the neck shots. And uh, <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh no, Nora, that's right. And uh, she, she claims to have had the neck shots and they, she says that they helped her with all the problems she has, I guess, from being an ex cult member. But it seems like after she got the neck shots, she just went, as she would say, a potato head. She, they, they must've, they must've had the exact opposite, opposite impact on her if they had any, any impact at all. Because after <laughs> like, basically after that Jamie mustard interview was when she started really, really doing doing the I've been attacked and and I'm I'm the oh she started really going after people just for criticizing her work send me money okay me too like seriously I guess that's the way we do it now we just say send me money send me money send me money
I would love. I wonder if she wants cheese. But if I send her a, a brick of unlabeled cheese loose in a box, do you think she'd be upset? If you endeavored to find out her home address, I'd fire you from this podcast, and then you would have to. You would no longer make the negative twenty dollars a month or whatever it is you pay on Patreon or the. the, the thing. Yeah, I, I mean, I would only do that if she had like a PO box or something that she requests <laughs> fan mail to be sent to. I have accounts like this one and the entire, <laughs> yes, this is very true. Venmo is safer guys than mailing a box of money. So if you want the money to actually get to me and not be intercepted by some, uh, you know, also person who needs money, like <laughs> then just, you know, Venmo it, cash app, whatever, whichever one you got, PayPal, I'll take it. Good old American cash. Thanks so much. Um, uh, you know, it, when I have accounts like this, okay. And let's go back here to the, you know, it's like, it's so obvious, Stephanie. Man, again, I keep, I keep wondering who that handsome gentleman in that, in that completely washed out red lighting is. <laughs> <laughs> and he, she keeps calling this person Stephanie. This is, this is so stupid. Do you remember, like, this is like when Madison Star Moon, like, thought everybody was this guy, Jay Uzi, who doesn't exist. I don't know. You probably don't remember that. You weren't all the way down yeah, at the I rabbit hole. That. But she thought everybody was the same person. And remember when she said that we were like CIA agents and shit? Like, oh, yeah. Paid shills. Yeah. I think this is this yep. is like this is pretty adjacent to that sort of behavior where it doesn't yeah. it doesn't seem to occur to her that there are a great number of people who uh, I guess if we were going to um, describe it in a a generous way they don't think what she's doing is useful and possibly is like detrimental to the cause that she says she's trying to fight against uh or in our case um i just think this is fucking funny because it looks like everything else i've ever seen every internet weirdo do ever yeah it's like a hint of that um uh what is it called targeted individual a little bit yeah Except, except yeah. she, yeah, she thinks this one person has made all these accounts to criticize her and her uh, online community, but it's not just this one person. Yeah. <laughs> there would be no reason to think it's just one person because she also complains about this discord, the discord you're in it. Um, it's the, the, the discord that, uh, some of the people that are watching the, the live show right now, uh, came from and have somehow decided that I am not the problem, which is a little bit weird actually. Um, <laughs> with all those people in that discord plus like reddit like like a couple subreddits dedicated to like coverage of this the the the, the chain of events that's going on you one would imagine that there's going to be more than one person with the ability to pop up like a youtube channel or a twitter that might be making content that is critical of the content that uh, she and others are making yeah i mean so aside from all the ways that you can there's no way to prove that we're not all the same people you I mean, and me only if you ignore all the ways that you can prove that you and me aren't the same person probably you can't prove it i mean unless you like oh look look with your eyes <laughs> at us <laughs> yeah it'd be some pretty but other than that pretty fancy real-time video editing if we were also the stephanie person <laughs> <laughs> yep <laughs> So obvious, baby render. Who else would name their foundation? Uh, you know, all these things. And then, of course, we go to our favorite place on earth, Reddit, which I'm sure I haven't even checked it this morning because I don't really give a fuck. That's why it auto completes. You know, um, and that's why that has the pink, the purple. <laughs> <laughs> and it suggests it to you as well. The 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 purple i've been here button and and also <laughs> google and or reddit i don't know the what how that that handshake or whatever happens they know that's where she wants to go because that was the, yeah it doesn't just like if i go search for reddit like it's not going to offer that particular yep. subreddit to me. it might offer me <laughs> it might know that i go but that i mostly hang out if i go at all i hang out in the burn notice reddit like <laughs> yeah google pretty clearly knows like which subreddit she she is looking for <laughs> it was literally the top one right under like the reddit.com link don't worry i don't go here though i don't pay any attention to this at all my last three <laughs> videos have been yeah just like she doesn't ask for money except send her boxes of money please oh uh, the channel after malicious takedown is back online so apparently they're back apparently they're back well you just Wonderful. saw it 
aren't you so yep. so excited so proud of yourself so proud of themselves to be back online after using my content with no transformative uh transformative uh things uh you know that youtube re requires i don't begrudge people putting up a website okay uh putting up a that's not a youtube requirement that's like a a legal requirement right and the video in question is transformative they put her in this little tv and had like commentary running next to her including like things that she had said that contradict the thing that she was saying in the clips that they had pulled out and stuff so it's like yeah a, it's that like, would be transformative that's a pretty yeah. actually a pretty common uh type of youtube video right it's like a, it's like what we do we do like media yeah. criticism i mean that's a that's a pretty lofty way to describe what we're doing here i suppose but <laughs> hey even if we're not great at it it's still <laughs> right. media criticism it's still, yeah it was, it was media criticism <laughs> and that, that was that what yeah. that video is too yeah. and it just so happens that the media criticism because she's so prolific and behaves in such i'd say erratic and um oftentimes irrational ways she becomes the target of the media criticism in the community that the channel is dedicated to criticizing it's just like how you know, for our like cast of characters for the for intellectual Dollar Tree, like some of them fell off, right? Like I don't remember who we were cover like I don't remember everybody we covered, but some of them fell off. But boy howdy, have some of them been the stars of the show. Like Eric <laughs> Eric Brett, Sam Harris, Jordy Pete, like those have been like the stars of the show. Mm -hmm. So here's their here's their first one. So here's the first one. Welcome back. Be patient while we merge our content. Thank you right so they don't even claim that they are here to fight scientology at first they did at first they were like oh we're here to fight scientology look at us all the videos are about me aaron and marilyn aaron marilyn me oh they did one on liz on liz gale where she looks like an adorable little you know red-headed sad panda doll okay every single other video is to attack me, attack Aaron, and attack Marilyn. They are not here to take down Scientology. Same thing with this ridiculous thread on Reddit. It has no purpose at all because, hey, they just loved, it's, it's just a- Oh, she said thread, she means this ridiculous subreddit, right? A thread would be one of these mm -hmm. conversations. Yeah. So, I mean, she did say she's not on Reddit very often, <laughs> but, so, it, <laughs> but you know, uh, Google, clearly Google, she doesn't know anything about it. Google knocked her other out. than having been there so often that Google was like, oh, yeah, I know what you're looking for at this one. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, that's like that, that'd be like me saying that I don't give a fuck about the Weinsteins, right? <laughs> right that they're using all this and fear the creeper is so sad that i don't ever call them out first of all i don't know who the fuck you are uh at first you were polite to me on the reddit thread so i didn't really have a reason to call you out but if you are inco and you are doing the potato head foundation and you are in cahoots with stephanie you're definitely not my friend so there you go no, okay when she says potato head foundation she means sptv right um sh no sh i think she means no, because she's part of SPTV. I think she means the okay. fake. These people are making fun of or criticizing the, the. Okay. She means the. The channel she was just looking at. Yeah. The, 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 <clears throat> it would be like the critique sphere. Essentially. That's what like, we're part of the critique sphere for the IDW. So they might call us, I don't okay. know. They might even just call us the intellectual dollar tree, which would be good actually. The uh, the greater SPTV area, right? The people who critique it, though. <laughs> the she's, suburbs. She's calling it. The, she's calling the critique, like the the critique community, essentially the Potato yeah. Head Foundation. And again, she, I don't think she started calling it that till a couple of weeks ago. Because so, boy, howdy, I do. I think she knows who we are. <laughs> Fear the creeper. I hope you feel validated and seen in life now that I recognize that uh, you know you are a disgusting human being who spends all day on the internet literally shitting on survivors of a cult instead of working to take it down because let's just look at let's just look at the articles here on this okay sunny wants to talk about something bad she did uh -huh. sptv foundation uh you know a potato head foundation celebrating that they're back well at least she knows that was an ad you know a shit about aaron shit about reese uh shit about reese 
shit about Aaron. Shit about Aaron. Yeah, but the, this shit about Aaron. Hold on. Uh, shit about Reese. Why did Aaron refuse to warn SPTV about us? <laughs> Yo. Yo. Ooh. That, that's a whole other thing that I, I haven't really gotten into, but apparently this person, Lewis, I don't like that their full name is up on here. So we're going to, we'll, 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 we'll maybe skip over to our, our face, our faces here. Um, but this person was, it was known among some of the people to the best of my knowledge, some of the creators that this person had been, um, let's say at the very least inappropriate with, uh, women in the community and had. I don't, I don't know the whole story, but there was definitely like, it was known and uh, nobody said anything about it. Sort of like how, when, like, like how everybody like circled the wagons around Aaron, his Smith Levin himself, when he was uh, behaving quite badly. And uh, I was um, called all kinds of names for being the only one talking about it really out, uh, up until, up until basically last summer. Anyway. Shit about Aaron. Shit about Aaron. Shit about me. Uh, shit about all of SPTV. Probably just me and Aaron, to be honest. Uh, you know, oh, Sonny's putting something up. Nobody cares. Uh, shit about Liz Gale. Like, listen, don't don't mess with Liz Gale. That's actually a cool uh, picture. Shit about me. <laughs> this is shit about me and Maryland. Uh, sh uh, this is Stephanie uh, trying to mea culpa for her. So that one actually is Stephanie, I think. But so are all the other okay. posts. <laughs> and and all like, the YouTubes. Is her point though that like because she survived a cult that she should be immune to criticism? I think she might not come out and say that, but uh generally that seems to be one of the things she's saying, right? She's this is like the 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 like a distillation of the enemy of my enemy must necessarily be my friend and treat me as such. Okay. Yeah. Cause like d good for her for surviving Scientology that that deserves some kudos, but that doesn't mean that like everything you say is right. And it doesn't mean that like no one should criticize you fucking fake uh you know uh fucking go fund me so, but just shit about me okay shit about me oh there was a chart of trolls look who's not on it uh, we gotta get on the next one but just shit about me okay <laughs> shit about me oh look it's just the entire website reddit and the entire service <laughs> discord <laughs> reddit and discord yep <laughs> So, and to be fair, she thinks these are all like, she thinks that most of these people here. So anyway, whatever. She thinks that more than one of these people is Stephanie, the Stephanie person, but only one of these things is Stephanie. What it, I'm telling you, I told you this is like Madison star moon ish behavior. Remember when they used to make like giant lists of the people that made fun of them. Do you remember that? And then they yep. would distribute it so that they could block all of those people because that's that's a really <laughs> that's a really good use of your time is to keep a keep a five thousand person catalog and including their Facebook links of everybody that made fun of you, right? Like that's, that's a version of what's happening <laughs> yeah. here. I know they have a block list because I had never commented in her channel, and then I went to comment in her channel and I asked somebody else if they could see it, and they're like, no. So I'd been like blocked. You know how YouTube when you block somebody from commenting, they don't know mm. their comment just doesn't okay. show up to other people. So. These people, as far so far as I can tell, they also have a block list that they're sharing. Okay, this is I'm obviously <laughs> speculating, but I have good reason to believe that they're doing it because this is a common tactic. This is a common thing that people do when they want to sort of <clears throat> keep criticism of what they're doing out of their community. Like I got Madison Star Moon, you know, bragged about having two or three thousand people blocked on Facebook that one time. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> me uh you know like shit about liz ferris who said no thank you to a false thing like this whole thing where are the articles about scientology where are literally the title of this is sptv unvarnished it's your community and unvarnished means like we've taken the clear shiny coat off of it and we're showing you what's happening what that's what the fucking title of the fucking subreddit is 
If you want to find a lot of these same people, probably you can go to r slash Scientology and find articles about the cult of Scientology, find people discussing what's going on in the cult of Scientology. r slash Scientology is a fairly well moderated community. Um, but I got accused many times of working for the cult of Scientology in there when I was talking about Aaron Smith Levin when everybody else was afraid to. So I don't really go there anymore. Fuck that. The things that talk about anything to do with taking down Scientology. There's none. There's not a fucking one because all these people do. And, and this is also including the. This is literally Madison Star Moon complaining about Kaku, right? Mm hmm. Yep. This is same thing. This is Eric Weinstein complaining about all the people on Twitter who make fun of him. <laughs> yep. From this Reddit, Patty Mower, to Facebook, okay, and other places to just shit on us, second gens, to continue this line that my. So nobody cares that they, she said second gen. That means that, like, her, she was born into the cult of Scientology. Her parents were. But nobody cares that, like, that her parents, you know what I'm saying? Nobody, like, nobody cares that she was, like, that's not. Um, germane to the criticism she's receiving. It has nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. Shelton and Tony Ortega are untouchable because they have done good things. So that's not true. I don't want to get too much into it, but we did an episode of the Intellectual Dollar Tree about Chris Shelton going on trigonometry. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I've criticized him in the past. They're not untouchable. And this community of people around there have not excommunicated me for having criticized Chris Shelton. So this is incorrect. They're not untouchable. And she's also talking about Tony Ortega. Tony Ortega is a friend of the show. He's been an interview guest of ours. He's a, a we, we chat sometimes, sometimes not even about Scientology, but he's a reporter. He doesn't have anything to do with any of this. Won't write about it. Doesn't say shit about it publicly. Doesn't want nothing to do with this. Just writes the same blog with a blog post about information about the cult of Scientology with interviews with people who have been in the cult and he has some sources maybe inside the cult where they like divulge information to him and he's a reporter that's all he does he doesn't do anything he has nothing to do with any of this he does he doesn't really go on anybody's shows who are involved in this in this crap on either side nothing so she just does I guess doesn't like that those people aren't going after him because because he doesn't have anything to do with this. And like he was writing at, he's been writing about Scientology for like 20 fucking years. He was at the village voice writing about Scientology when basically nobody else was doing it. And he's got a long career of doing the same thing and just not getting involved in any of the bullshit. And I don't, you know, I, I, as, as a person who loves getting involved in the bullshit, I mean, I, I wish as an influential person, I suppose I wish he would say something about what's going on. But I also understand why he might not want to, because that's not what he does. He's a journalist. Those three man, men single handedly almost completely fucked the Jane Doe's out of their uh, win against Danny Masterson. They have shit all over Miriam and tried to run a smear campaign against her. They do nothing but behind the scenes because Chris too much of a chicken shit to say this on his channel because his channel is about drama. His channel is not about drama, but his life is about drama because he does it on Reddit, on Discord, on Facebook, on Twitter. But not his press's channel. His channel isn't drama, guys. It's real. It's facts about Scientology. Okay. Because a uh, hard not disagree there. Actually, that's been my experience with Chris Shelton too. But people don't want to hear about that. <laughs> He's a legitimate expert because he knows if somebody Googles him and finds his channel and he's shitting on survivors, who's going to hire him to speak? Who's going to pay him money to speak at their cult conference or on their podcast if he's on his channel shitting on people? Why don't these people who've had him on their podcast as a quote unquote expert go fucking Google him and find his Reddit and find the Discord and find the Facebook? To be fair, he keeps rage deleting his own Reddit account his twitter where he <laughs> shits all over survivors why is that okay why would you put him up as an expert same thing with mike rinder 
Okay, so he wrote a book. He had a bad time in the Sea Org. So did I. He was he walked into it on his own accord. He's been having doubts since 1987, but he stayed and did all the horrific things that he did from 1987 on. Right? And Tony Ortega, what the fuck? This guy couldn't hold a job at any other paper he had because he was obsessed with Scientology. But he worked at the Village Voice. Just I, you might, HK, you may not know the Village Voice. That's the, the village in New York. That's like the, the, the queer district. That's the village people. So it was like the independent okay. newspaper from the the gay, uh, the, the queer the queer district of uh, New York City. Tony Ortega okay. not not gay, but he got a job there writing about Scientology because they wanted to hire him to do that. Uh, if you remember Backpage, Backpage was also run by the Village Voice. Um, okay. And so he could never hold a job, yet he had a job at one of the most influential <laughs> independent publications probably in the, in the history of the United States. And the, the, it was <clears throat> like his work wasn't even necessarily 100% completely in line with what the publication was generally about. And he managed to <clears throat> form a good career and have good relationships. And then when the village voice crumbled, um, he left and started his own blog and was able to monetize it and had, has, has had a pretty good career. All things considered, I don't know what the fucking problem is. And he hasn't uttered your fucking name in public, Nora, <laughs> to my knowledge, he hasn't uttered like a single negative word about any of these people who she says are that he's attacking or whatever. I don't know what he says to other people and I would never divulge like the, you know, if if we have a a quick chat or whatever, obviously I'm not, I don't divulge what other people tell me when I'm just chatting with them, but Mm -hmm. that's not, that's not his bag. He's not, he doesn't have anything to do with any of this. And so far as I can tell, he's not going on anybody's show right now because he doesn't want anything to do with any of this. Like, I don't know why the fuck she's so mad at him. He's fucking, he, based on what I know about him. He's he, his his politics tend to line up pretty well with ours, and a lot of the stuff that was going on here has to do with these people being at least friendly with like right wingers, and he probably doesn't agree with it. But I'm just speculating because I've actually never talked to him about this. Because if he wanted to have something to do with this, he'd fucking talk about it publicly. I've he's been a, a pretty good source. I've been able to reach out to him on background for stuff about Scientology when I've needed, and he's been very generous with his time with me. And that's that's fucking it. And I think that's pretty much how he treats everybody. Now, probably not her because she fucking is like fucking freaking out about him when he hasn't done anything. But has single handedly fucked over Phil and Willie, fucked over the Jane Doe's, fucked over Leah, fucked over the show. But yet he's still considered some court kind of fucking expert he intimidates second gens he calls and texts you and like gaslights you into oblivion but he's okay let's keep giving him if you guys cannot this does not this be i don't i don't know where these claims are coming from i don't want to spend like uh, too terribly much time on this and i'm not i'm not like a stan or whatever but I, this has not been my my experience nor if i to the extent that I, yeah i haven't heard this from anyone that that he does this and i wouldn't believe it without like receipts right you know wow that mike rinder and tony ortega and chris shelton are working in concert at with along with all these old timey you know first gens patty mower and all these other fucks who are ex osa and things like that to carefully guide the narrative so that scientology stays here what and the rest of us end up looking like exactly what scientology says we are just bitter defrocked apostates who can't hold a job who can't have a life but it sounds like your problem nora isn't with Scientology. like does it sound like her problem is with scientology uh she's certainly not focusing on it so i would say no if you were advising scientology which you probably would never do. Would you advise them to keep their mouth shut or to get involved in this in any sort of way as this all unfolds? Uh, <laughs> if I had to, I would advise them to keep their mouth shut. Right. What is that? It's from the art of war. Like don't interfere when your enemy is destroying themselves or something like that. Yep. <laughs> because we left Scientology. 
Like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. But I feel like no one, uh, no one is criticizing anyone because they left Scientology other than Scientology, right? And right now, they're, as, as, as you might guess, I would imagine, like I say all the time, this is a space alien cult, but not everybody there in there is stupid. They might just be kicking back with the popcorn, right? <laughs> <laughs> but what I mean is like, that's not the criticism being levied against anyone coming from anyone outside of Scientology. Like, there are other criticisms here that she's not addressing. Right, because she's making it all hyper-personal, right? As if it's like, these people have betrayed me and they were supposed to be my friends almost. This sounds like a betrayal. But again, these people aren't, aren't, they're not her friends. They're not my friends. I'm friendly with, friendly and um, possibly unfriendly with some of the names and like, whatever. But they're not my friends. No. I even have some of them as my friend on Facebook. Does that make them my friend? No. (laughs) Everybody, well, I shouldn't say everybody, that's a generality. (laughs) But most people who leave Scientology are very successful and happier than they've ever been. But yet those people continue to forward the narrative and continue to keep Scientology's Uh, viewpoint of the world going that the protests aren't doing anything thank you to the protesters has chris shelton ever said that no he's actively i mean obviously because like scientology is hemorrhaging members like whatever she thinks that they're doing to protect themselves is not working right right so like what is the criticism here i have no idea she she also brought up the protesters. So if you were you 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 were around sort of like anonymous versus Scientology at the end of the 2010s, right? Mm-hmm. Where there were gr- large yeah. groups of people outside of these organizations with signs and they were wearing masks and there were people that dressed up as Xenu and there was like sort of like a party environment going on there, right? Yeah. And now the protests it looks like this. Everybody's <laughs> fucking live streaming. Yep. Everyone They're all live streaming themselves and other people protesting. So there's like not, there's no like cohesion in the protest. That's like my criticism. Also, I don't, if I'm protesting something that I think is a powerful organization, keep my fucking face off of your live stream. Just as like a matter of like principle. Yeah. Agreed. Or at least like, I don't know, like don't film the whole time. Like then they know exactly where you are. They know exactly what you're yeah. doing. You're like, you're like, you're like doing their to the extent that they might even be attempting to do counterintelligence work. You're doing it for them. <laughs> so is Mike Rinder. So is Tony Ortega, who never reports on all of the things that the protesters are finding and discovering. Why? Because they won't bow at the altar of Tony Ortega and give them an exclusive scoop. Tony, it's called the internet. It's 2024. People are live streaming. They see things that happens in real time. You know, like come to 2024 and figure it out. So the other reason that maybe these people aren't heaping praise on these protesters is there have been multiple incidents where the protesters started fucking with random people on Hollywood Boulevard that so far as I could tell had nothing to do with Scientology and then got a smack in. Because like Hollywood Boulevard, it's a cool place to hang out. There's entertainment and stuff. But it's one of those places where if you start fucking with random people, one of them might punch you in the face. Yep. It's just, (laughs) you know, it's not good. Nobody should be fucking assaulting anybody. But you don't, don't go, don't go fucking with random people on Hollywood Boulevard. Don't do it. Yeah. You shouldn't get punched, but you probably will if you do that. Right. And so maybe that's why uh, somebody, and I don't, I don't want to like talk too much about this still, but maybe that's why like a person who's been doing journalism about the cult of Scientology isn't going to spend any time reporting on this group of protesters because they keep creating conflict with passersby who there's no reason to believe even have anything to do with the cult of Scientology. But then again, if they do, if it's like a random passerby entering the building, that person's like a victim probably of the cult. Yeah. They've been victimized by a control and demand group. So what's what, why fuck with them? No one owes you anything. You're not the gatekeeper of the ex-Scientology world or our stories or our life. Get the fuck over yourself. Okay? Okay. And yesterday I brought up Marty Rathbun. Uh-oh, hot dog. Brought up Marty. Okay? 
Yeah. That mofo was number two, was this close to taking down Scientology with his case. His case and Monique's case, his wife, could have taken Scientology down, could have put David Miscavige in a courtroom to testify. Magically, the case is thrown away by the plaintiff, Monique, and they just disappear off into the ether. They probably settled. Right? I think Scientology probably offered them a bunch of money and <clears throat> made them sign a non-disparagement clause. And they were like, well, I don't want to go through this fucking awful court proceeding. And so they took the money. <clears throat> Their lawyers probably advised them to do it. If you're involved in any kind of litigation, you just do what the fuck your lawyer says. Yeah. <laughs> that is classic OSA 101. And as I explained yesterday, then there comes Mike, the hero who's been just waiting patiently to insert himself into everybody's shit and put his fingers back on everything. She could have said that differently. Yes. Right? <laughs> and he only does stuff that benefits him. He only does things when he's paid to do it. Okay? And I don't begrudge people for getting paid, but let's be honest. I was doing this on YouTube for years before getting any money. Okay, so no, she wasn't. She showed her YouTube channel in another video, and she had some videos from like eight or nine years ago, and then videos, uh, the, the after that, the next video was like a year or a year and a half ago. So she hasn't been doing this for years. She's been doing this for a year. <laughs> Maybe by years, she means like 1.2 years. And it wasn't about the money at first because I had a, a separate full-time job. This was just a, you know, get the word out. Now I've decided to do content creation. Whether I make money or not, that's on me, okay? That's on my, the quality of my content and how I promote it and how I play the algorithm game, okay? And I understand that. But when I'm speaking truth and I'm putting facts and <laughs> receipts out there and I'm getting attacked, I'm not even the biggest channel, guys. Okay, and I'm getting hit with complaint after complaint after complaint, targeted attacks. That tells me one big thing. Is she going to say I'm over the target? She's going to say she's over the target, right? <laughs> Probably. I am telling the truth. Yeah, it was some mm. version of that. That is incorrect. Keep doing it. Why else keep mass reporting my videos as they go up so that I can't monetize them right now? I mean, now? maybe it's because you're not like, okay. It, sure. It could be that everything you say is true and everyone is just out to get you. But maybe, have you considered the possibility that you're wrong? <clears throat> or that you're... In this case, it like you're she's making a lot of claims about a lot of people. They're, you know, maybe non falsifiable claims, but maybe maybe people are not they don't like the behavior. Like the behavior we're seeing here is not really what you would <clears throat> like what you would want to see from someone in, engaged in like some kind of act like real activism against like a high control mm -hmm. and high demand group because she's just doing the same thing she's accusing everyone else of doing. And like you know, to be fair, I'm doing some version right now of the thing she's accusing everyone of doing, but I'm not pretending that I'm not doing that. Right? Like it's like mm -hmm. kind of all out on Front Street. What I'm this is more like a tabloid. My my interest in this. I mean, I care. Like I want people to get out of the cult of Scientology. But right now, I think if somebody left Scientology, I would just tell them to stay away from all of these fucking people. Stay away from me. Stay away from her. Stay away from Aaron Smith Levin. Stay away from the fucking Reddit. Stay away from the Discord. Just like I don't know, mm -hmm. like like go to the go to the Y and play volleyball or something. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, just live your life. Don't like obsess about Scientology now that you're out. Yeah, and I mean, right now, if you're leaving, look at the look at the fucking shit show you're gonna find. Yep. Why else keep doing it? There's only two answers. Either you are truly a sick individual and you are overly obsessed to the point of stalking me. Um, and, you know, I'll, I'll take legal protections on that. Or 
you're working for Scientology. And wait, those are the only so two. So hold on, wait, wait. If I go and report her video right now, the only two explanations that she can think of is I'm so obsessed with her that I'm stalking her or I'm working for Scientology. And she's like, if you're stalking me, I'm going to take legal protections again. Do you remember the time that Madison Star Moon called the police on Kaku? <laughs> <laughs> She like had the police come over and was like recording it as she talked to the police and the police were like kind of dumbfounded that she had called them because people were making fun of her on a Facebook group. <laughs> <laughs> so reporting someone on YouTube is not stalking. I don't know why anyone would have to explain that to anyone else, but that is not stalking. It could be harassment if you're doing it like constantly to someone for bad reasons but she has no proof she's presented no evidence that that's what's going on uh, and that's not stalking that would be harassment right and th that is against like youtube's terms of service and not for nothing you can't like start a discord server for the purpose of brigade reporting you can't you have a reddit yeah. subreddit where one of the things that you do is engage in like brigading someone um yeah <clears throat> The other thing is she's also sort of like, it's like, she's like, oh, I'm a public figure. I'm a content creator. I'm monetizing my content or whatever. Well, once you, that you've bought a certain kind of ticket when you do that and you are going to be subject mm -hmm. to criticism, right? This is a, this is a, like Eric Weinstein. Who's like, I have this very popular podcast and I can't continue it because I have to take legal action. I need someone, <laughs> you know, uh, well-versed in, um, internet like internet uh, harassment and whatnot because he basically was mad that the majority report was just dunking on him and his brother just constantly and it was hilarious and there's uh, like a <laughs> version of that going on here too right where she's being no. criticized now mind you none of these people not us not sir, we're we're bigger than the other uh communities that are have been talking about her so none of us have like the kind of reach that the majority report does. Maybe one day I will. Um, I don't know. Sam, have me on your show. Um, but <laughs> this is this is it, this is a buy the ticket, take the ride thing. Unless somebody's doing, unless people are mm -hmm. doing anything illegal, like unless people are actually stalking you and causing you to like have legitimate, reasonable fears for your personal safety, then you you can't you can't put your fucking ideas out there and criticize people and expect people not to clap back at you. You just can't. Yep. I mean, you can expect that, but it's unrealistic. Yeah. Me telling truth to the masses on the internet is scary because I get emails every day where other people are putting the fucking pieces together, Mike and Chris Okay, and Tony, I'm not a genius. You should put me in that group. Fuck it. I don't even like Chris Shelton, but put me in the club. Okay. <laughs> I've watched way too many crime dramas. I've watched every Law & Order. I've watched every crime show that's ever come out. Okay, and yeah. Oh, no, that's how she thinks she knows about fucking the, the law. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I've watched all the crime shows and you're doing a crime. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna get the, she's gonna get somebody from nypd blue to just beat them up in the interrogation room look i'm basically a lawyer i watched law and order like <laughs> twice hey man i think That's i'm a spy pretty much a law degree i think i'm a, i think i'm a spy because i've watched a burn notice all the way through three times <laughs> <laughs> By somebody who was in the geo my father was also a private detective so my childhood training was unique let's put it that way okay and then to top that off i got all my scientology investigative training under my belt as well wait what what did scientology train you to investigate it just trained you to investigate the people around you wait a minute all she's doing is doing some weird investigation of all the people around her. You can take the lady out of Scientology, but maybe you can't take the Scientology out of the lady here, can you? Yep. She's doing the, like, the, she's, she's doing, like, she's like, she's like, I learned how to, whatever the fuck I'm doing, I learned how to do it in a space alien cult. All right. All right. <laughs> 
So this has actually yep. been, this is, we're, we're going to go long. We're probably going to cover, we're probably going to watch this whole thing, but this has been interesting, like hearing your uh, reactions to what's going on here, HK, because you don't know anything about the backdrop, but because of <clears throat> probably having been a citizen of the internet and then unfortunately getting your brain poisoned by being a member of my organization, you're, you, 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 you know what the fuck you don't you don't need to know like the exact backdrop but you sort of know that you sort of already recognize the patterns of behavior yeah yeah so it's not a shock to me that i can put these things together because that's i have a lifetime of training to back that up okay so i know you're scared osa in Scientology, I get it. I think they've got popcorn right now. <laughs> they, if they're watch, if they're paying any, much attention to this at all, I think they've got popcorn. Peter's <laughs> facade is breaking. It's uh, you know we're seeing through the cracks. You're going to have to find somebody else because you know if Mike passes away from cancer, I don't know who you're going to have out here to control the narrative because we don't respect Tony. Oh yeah, that's right. One of the people she's been talking about and freaking out about is probably going to die soon. Um, I don't know that I don't, he's not like, I don't know him and I don't know de intimate details about his like medical condition, but from what I gather, I think he's probably going to die soon. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So that operation is a total failure. Uh, we definitely don't respect Chris Shelton. <laughs> so don't even bother with him you know uh and if leah and when leah wins her case which i am 100 percent supporting uh leah's case is a dog i don't think she's going to win uh scientology is going to win on first amendment grounds i've talked to uh, uh, attorneys people i know people i don't know and i've just asked about it and i've seen some analysis from actual attorneys and it doesn't look like the case is that good because she's a public figure in Scientology was uh, criticizing her. So I don't think she's, I don't think she's going to win. Um, I hope they just give her some money to go away though. And then I hope she donates it to like charity or some shit. Cause she rich. Hmm. And as far as I know, so are all the other SPTV creators. Uh, you're going down. Okay. Because as much as the external forces and by that, I mean Mike Rinder and Chris Shelton and other people and Tony have tried to fuck Leah's case. She's still going to prevail. She's still going to prevail. And don't forget, don't forget, guys, Surya is now 18. I'm going to once again say out loud, Katie, we are all waiting for your book. I will prepay for it right now, even if you haven't written one single So word. she's talking about Surrey Cruz and Katie Holmes, uh, Tom Cruise's ex-wife and Tom Cruise's daughter, who I'm sure watch Nora's uh, channel. Okay. I'm sure they I'm sure they know who <laughs> Nora who, I'm sure they know who Nora is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I don't think that as I don't think that as long as Tom Cruise is alive, either of them are gonna really say much publicly because he's very famous, right? And it it just it's you know the, the juice probably wouldn't be worth the squeeze for them because uh katie holmes rich as fuck too so what the fuck does she want to get involved in any of this like you know what i'm saying like why mm -hmm. there's there's not a whole lot of upside for her writing a book about this because she katie holmes rich as fuck okay we are all waiting for that tell-all book please please do it Please do it. Uh, of Force, Force Browen. Hi, thank you, Troll, for showing up. Thanks for downvoting. Thanks for being here. Uh, no one mentioned communism. Uh, Scientology is fascism. So, like, please learn your your words uh, correctly. And oh, fair enough. Why mention the comment then? So, the, the one of the other things that's going on here is that there is a there is a uh, sticking it to the libs sort of element in this 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 community even though there's like queer people in the community or whatever, there's a lot of like right wingers in this community. And I think it's because of Aaron okay. Smith Levin and his associations with people like Andrew gold and Alex Stein. And like he went on Jordan Peterson's show and stuff. And so he's like, his media diet tends to be YouTube politics. And if you're not really, <clears throat> if you're not really attempting to not get that kind of shit on YouTube, that's what it feeds you. Okay. And since these people are all sort of disciples of him and share their audience with him, they're going to get a lot of like weirdos. 
Yeah, and Aaron went on the Rick Wiles White Power Hour. Um, okay. So, like, that's what's going on. That's, like, why this person probably said that. Now, I don't know why she didn't bring it up, but, I'll, you know, to her, to her slight credit here, she did say that Scientology, the organization, more closely re- re- resembles fascism. So that's, you know, yep. to her credit there. But, yeah. Okay. Because but I would just say don't feed the trolls. Yeah. Don't get it. You don't get it. Like you're not hurting me. This this accusation it means nothing. Wait, this person that's a joke. I think this person's kidding, right? I have no idea. Like based on what I know, I would assume this person was kidding. Like it's a bad joke. It's not funny. But based on what <laughs> I know about the community that this community, I think this person thinks they're telling a joke. Potentially, yeah. All you're doing is helping boost the visibility of this uh, video. And I thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, algorithm boost. Like it's it's really, it's the, the insults and the things like that, I don't care about. If you want to tell me how I'm fat, I already know that. I have a whole channel dedicated to getting in shape. I can see my body. I took my measurements. I put it on. Uh, she's 40. She's like average, right? She look, I mean, I don't want to like get into like her looks or whatever, but that wouldn't, I wouldn't, I, why, why would you? call her fat she's just a 40 year old lady that's how a 40 year old lady tends to look like fuck, shut up if like, people go in there and call them fat call you fat fuck those people i agree yep know how much i weigh like <laughs> guys there's not something that you're gonna tell me that is like oh oh there's a sh- oh did you know that i'm fat <laughs> like <laughs> it doesn't matter okay what matters is taking scientology down and so i'm gonna but certainly this- what your videos have been about lately and for the people in the back. But like to that end, what are you willing to do? You know? Like do the like do the means justify the ends when the means are also hurting people. So uh, people are going to make fun of me because I've said this a bunch of times. This is this kind of happens in activist communities where you get stuck at the raising awareness phase, right? Like activism tends to, and this is going to be an oversimplification, but activism has three phases, right? Hopefully you would raise awareness. And then after you raise awareness, you and gr- groups of people take action. And then you, uh, th- as step two, and then as step three, you achieve a goal, right? Mm-hmm. That's the, you know, there's more, but we could, we'll take those three. Th- they're stuck at raising awareness because the actions that have been tried to be taken are people pointing cell phones at each other in front of the Scientology center on Hollywood Boulevard. That's the pretty much the extent of the action that they're willing to take. And so like when you get stuck at the raising awareness phase and you never get to the taking action as a group phase, eventually either one or two things happens. The, the, your community, your, your, your like community of activists falls apart and you just kind of lose touch with each other or because you never get anywhere, you all start blaming each other for not accomplishing anything, even though you've never done step two, trying to take the action. And I think <laughs> the the latter is what's happening here, is that, yeah. hard, and it's hard to know what to do about something like Scientology. I'm not saying that everybody should have like a, like understand what the battle plan would be or whatever. But when your activist community gets stuck at raising awareness, it's the same as what happened in the chemtrails community. And the reason there was nothing to do about it is because there are no fucking chemtrails. And so you're perpetually stuck at raising awareness if the boogeyman doesn't exist. In this case, the boogeyman exists, but the boogeyman is crumbling all by itself. And so whatever actions, whatever actions you take, you're going to pretend maybe are being effective as the boogeyman crumbles by itself, but you're still stuck at raising awareness and now you're just going to all hate each other or, or the thing's just going to fizzle out. Yep. You keep missing the fucking point. Okay. If you are spending your entire day, Reddit fucking discord. Reddit is spending its entire day. And so is discord going after her. Does she mean on Reddit or like, does she think that Reddit is a community that's going after her? Like, I'm, I'm confused. So there, people are going after her, but it's because of her behavior. But what does she mean when she says Reddit? So who is she addressing there? So I think she thinks that that subreddit she was showing a lot of those accounts were like the same, maybe one, two, or three people. 
when in reality there's like, you know, it's not a huge subreddit, but there's like, what, a little over a thousand people in that subreddit. And so like when you get okay. about a thousand people in your subreddit, there's going to be posts in there all day. Okay. And the discord, I think the, the dis discord she's server, she's talking about, it's eh, more or less the same size as ours, a uh, number of members, far more active, right? Because our discord is like, it's different. We're, it's basically people helping me do show prep is what the discord ended up being. <laughs> and no, that's fine. I'm very grateful for that. Right. Like I would, mm. in fact, I'm glad it isn't like other politics discords where people are just fucking arguing all the time. Like there's pictures of cats and shit and people are making like internet friends with each other, but mostly it's like helping, helping me put together shows, put thing being like, Oh, Dave would like this. And then they put it in the right channel. Like the peanut gallery, the general is pretty dead, but the, the, but those, she probably thinks that those are like a lot of the same, like, you know what I'm saying? Like when mm -hmm. you have like seven or 800 people in a discord server and it's like active, like more act, more chatty than ours, it's going to be going all day. Sometimes I wake up and I have five notifications from that and I can't find them all because I don't even know how to use discord, <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't, but, but so, so what? Yeah. Fucking Potato Head Foundation, fucking Stephanie, fucking Voodoo Kitty, you know, Chris Shelton and his alter egos, and fucking Mike Rinder. And all I don't think Chris Shelton has alts. I think he doesn't have, like, um, I don't think he has sock accounts. We have a ton of them, but they lurk in places. <laughs> if you are dedicating your whole day to shitting on me and shitting on Aaron and shitting on Miriam and Liz and Serge and Reese and everybody else, you are working for Scientology. You support a child trafficking organization. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's a little bit of little little bit of little bit of pill to the gills going on here. Everyone not on my side is is on the side of my enemy. Not is that only what that, she's saying? Not only that, they're on the side of child traffickers. I don't know. I've never heard I've never heard anybody say that before. Yep. Uh, that's a bad take. That's that is a bad argument tactic. And for and as far as I can tell, and I've, I've tried to look into this as best I can. If if Scientology is engaged in human trafficking, it's adults, and they're trafficking them for labor. And they may be doing less and less of that just because they have less ability to recruit. And also, it's just not a great look. Like they're very concerned with their image. And as soon as people started talking about that, they may have like stopped engaging in that kind of behavior. I don't know for sure, right? But. Sure, but I do want to get to like she's saying if you're she's basically using the argument that like if you're not with us, you're against us, right? Or not if you're with us, you're not just against us, you are specific with a specific enemy of ours. Yeah, uh, and that is a bad argument tactic, it makes you look really bad. Um, uh, so and it, it it turns people against you. You know, by telling someone, oh, unless you support me, you're on the side of Scientology, that doesn't convince anyone. It just makes people not want to support you. Right. And, you know, not for nothing, the child trafficking thing during like the height of QAnon, if you would like start to goof on the QAnon people because they were saying weird shit about, I don't know, tunnels under the Getty or whatever, they'd like immediately accuse you of being in on it like that now you're trafficking the children yep. because you don't believe their bullshit and madison star moon if you were like i don't believe in chemtrails she's like well you're most likely an nsa agent then and it's like well what the yeah. fuck no we just don't believe you and find you kind of amusing like <laughs> now this is different yep, she was convinced we were paid shells <laughs> right and this is different because i actually yep. find this far less amusing than i found than i find madison star moon's antics if i'm being honest this is less amusing because yeah. she's doing the yeah. thing that she's she says everybody else is doing she's going after people who were damaged by the cult of scientology some of whom work i like some of whose work i don't like but that's kind of neither here nor there because she's the one she's doing it and that's all she does now 
she's the one who her and all of her content is about mm. that. And it's, you know, if you feel like you're being unfairly criticized and whatever, say that. Mm -hmm. Say that I think these criticisms are unfair and here's why. I don't even know what the fuck criticism she's referring to that she thinks is unfair. And it's not just this video. It's the other video. It's the rest of her. I don't even know what the criticism is that she thinks is like an unfair attack on her, like character or whatever. <sighs> you support a human trafficking organization. You support a money laundering organization. You are supporting an organization that holds people against their will, that protects essayers and grapers and criminalizes the victims. You work for them. Uh, Aaron Smith Levin was an abuser and uh, y'all circled the wagons around him, ma'am, ma'am. Y'all, y'all circled the fucking wagons around uh, an abuser, ma'am. Now, this doesn't mean you have to now shoot rainbows out of your ass about me. I don't expect any compliments. I don't expect any compliments for Aaron, but Every time you shit on us, that is what you're doing. You are boosting Scientology. You are giving them a thumbs up. You are giving them A-OK. -okay. You are telling them, I like child traffickers. I what? support See, people who commit sexual assault. What the fuck, dude? That's who you I are. I just don't think that's true, and it makes me far less on your side that you, that you say that. Right, if I had shown you this video with no context, I'd be like, hey, check this video out. What do you think? First of all, I think you'd have turned it off by now, probably. Oh, yeah. No. Uh, and like, after she said that, it's like, okay, well, I do not support you, period, no matter what you do, because that is a shitty thing to say. Just period. That is an awful thing to say. Saying like, oh, if you go against me, you're, you're pro-child trafficking. Because, you know... She, I guess she's the only one who knows how to fix child trafficking. <sighs> Every time. You want to be critical to me? You want to tell me you don't like my content? You want to tell me I'm ugly and fat? Write me an email. Put it in the comments. I mean, two of those things. Right, but don't, don't not the third one. If I, if I were to find out anybody here was doing the third one, I'd just kick you out of my chat and out of my Discord, actually. We don't need like, I'm not going to criticize your appearance, but I'm going to criticize what you say and, and your actions and what you're putting out on the internet. Yeah, absolutely. In the comments, again, still working for Scientology. You want to communicate directly with me? My email's open. I don't have anybody blocked on my fucking email. Email me. Okay. Oh, force. I was going to give you a chance, but now you're, now you're a piece of shit. So we are... You're out. You're out. A fetus saying. Oh, not. A fetus saying. Forced? Is that what she said? Yeah, it's forced? that person that I think was trying to tell a joke earlier, asking if she was a commie spy. I think that was like some. Like, oh, okay. Um, I think that's who it was. But like, where the fuck are her mods? If somebody's like being disruptive <laughs> in her chat, like where the fuck are her mods? I don't have to. She has a lot more fucking followers than I do. I don't have to. I don't have to ever deal with the bullshit. Sometimes it like during red light or whatever, I'll make fun of somebody if what they're saying is particularly dumb, but that's at my, at, at my, uh, like at my, it's like my prerogative. Sometimes I'll even ask the mods not to block somebody because what they're saying is so dumb and incredibly funny that I kind of actually want it on the screen. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, it kind of also depends like how much you trust the people in your audience. Like some people just don't trust their own audience that they, they would be willing to give mod powers. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, it's been a while since we've made anybody a mod here, but it's just like, there's no, there's no reason to, unless you find yourself in situations where you need more mods. Right. But like, where are her mm -hmm. mods at? If somebody's being that disruptive. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's, there's certain things I will allow. You want to attack me in my chat, but if you want to attack other people under false, disproved, slanderous, libelous claims, you're out. Okay? Because I don't stand for that. Scientology stands for that. And every time you do that, your Scientology is showing. 
Your Scientology is showing. Ma'am, you not fucking, oh, what feels like six hours ago, what was like 15 minutes ago or 10 minutes ago in your video said that you were trained in like some kind of surveillance technique by being in the cult of Scientology and that you're using that training, I don't know, to figure out the truth, some, tr some, hit, some truth that you're not articulating during your fucking video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Like the idea of if you criticize me, you are pro Scientology is just wrong. Like people are welcome to criticize us, and I won't assume that someone is pro uh, IDW if they do criticize us. Like it kind of depends on what they're saying. Like if they're saying something like, "How dare you criticize uh, Sam Harris? He's a saint." I'll be like, "Okay, you're pro Sam Harris then." But like. You know, if someone levies criticisms against us that aren't, you know, that are more directed at us and what we're saying, like, why the fuck would I assume that they're they're pro? I mean, maybe she's trying to be, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, facetious here, but maybe. it doesn't sound like she is. It no. sounds like she's legitimately saying, if you criticize me, you're pro Scientology. Right. And it's also like the other thing I think is if we get criticism of the content and it's, you know, just like, like worded, like a, like a, 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 a thing, a normal thing, not normal, but like, you know, just kind of just worded in a, a, like a, a sentence that they're like, Hey, you know, you were doing this. And I thought that was, you know, a little bit off putting and here's why like we I'll fucking, I'll take a look and try it. I'll think about it. Like what the fuck's the problem? Mm hmm. And that's my comment back to all this fucking barrage of hate. Your Scientology is showing. Okay. So really think about this, guys. Really think about the actions and the effort and the time that you are putting in on these internets here. Okay. Because you could be focusing that towards Scientology, towards contacting your local officials and telling them about the front groups in your area. Your local officials don't give a fuck about Scientology. This tactic was tried. <laughs> so, yeah, like my fucking, the people at the city council where I live, even in San Jose, where there, I think there's two Scientology centers, if I started talking to them about Scientology, they'd be like, you came to my office to talk about what? <laughs> <laughs> right? They don't give a fuck. to get them out of there, to eliminate their safe pointing in your area, okay? Or if you feel like it, going out to protest. You don't have to, but all of those things would be constructive. Instead, you spend every waking moment combing my data, watching like a stockerazzi every single thing that I say on the internet just so you can be like, aha, look how ugly she looked in that part. We're gonna, we're gonna clip that and we're gonna make it into a short and we're gonna just be like, Nora's unhinged. Guys. You have to, I understand that if, if we got more popular than we are, that people would be doing that. Yes, if, if I appeared to be unhinged mm -hmm. that there would be clips of it out there. Yes, I understand that that's fucking, that's part of the, that's, that's it's all in the game, baby. It's all in the game. And I do think that if someone is criticizing her appearance, that that's unwarranted and like, so, in you know, that, that is not good criticism. So in the community she's talking about, I know less about the Reddit community that she's talking about, but in the, uh, in the discord community that I'm part of the, you're not allowed to do that. They'll kick you out. They'll warn you first. Okay, good. They'll delete your comment. They'll warn you and then they'll kick you out. It's sort of like I have that same sort of rule around here. I don't want people like in the chat here. I don't want people, you know, people maybe be like, oh, that person looks like, looks like they've, they've had a week or whatever. Like if it's a conspiracy theorist who like just looks a little extra haggard today or whatever. But if people start focusing on how somebody looks like my mods again, I mean, I might say something, but the mods again are going to take care of that. And I, that's the same in the discord community that I'm a part of. That's just not, that's not what's being done you know and also like i would say like anyone who is calling her ugly like they're just wrong she's not an ugly person well that that's subjective and irrelevant right sure but like it sounds like that does get under her skin and you know if i could tell her something it would just be like 
that's an unfair criticism and also it's not true so you shouldn't like let it bother you anyway i mean like, she did say earlier that it didn't bother her so we'll i we have we get some of that uh, uh if you could imagine we get it more when there's a uh, women uh co-hosts here than when it's uh, just me or uh, me and a, a male co-host because of the misogyny being um mm. ingrained in our society but we, we we don't put up yeah. with it. We don't put up with it. And I, I get some of it. I people can, in here calling me old, and I'm like, oh shit, you figured out that I'm not 25. <laughs> I have every right to be upset with people who do nothing all day but shit on me. Okay, that's a normal human reaction. Of course, as Scientologists and OSA agents, you wouldn't know that because you don't believe in actual human emotion and you think that anything uh, below anger is downtone, like sympathy, empathy, grief, things like that. Downtone? Is that what she said? What There's a thing mean? called the tone scale. It just says you rise higher. It's like, it's like how new agers talk about like raising your vibration would be the best way to like okay. explain it. I don't well, like you could, you could look it up, but it's yeah. Akin to like, Oh, your vibes seem real low right now. And then they, they hand you like a rose quartz or something. It's like that. Okay. Beings anymore. You're robots who are stuck in a cult of mind control and child human trafficking, SA, graping, protecting, uh, money laundering. And, and you think you're saving the world. Okay. I don't think I'm saving the world <laughs> because that's not sane. What I do know that I'm doing is speaking the truth about Scientology and when? the criminals who committed uh, crimes inside Scientology. Okay. I, I'm going to go over the super chats here because I saw a few of them fly in. I don't want to ignore you. I know you guys have all been chatting things. I'm going to be real quick because uh, Liz is premiering at 1130. So we're all going to go give her a room raid. Uh, Gen X Less. I love your name. Uh, Troll Tax. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. Rogue Lesser, when will the fake SPTV Foundation start making anti-Scientology contact? Inko, Fudu Kitty, and Stephanie should at least prove their worth. Yeah, like when Stephanie was like actually fighting Scientology, good for her, good for her, but she's not doing that anymore. Um, love making lunatics go write a Reddit rant. You are fabulous, Nora. Thank you, Chris, and thanks for being a member. Sandra, uh, sending you money here and there and everywhere. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Guys, drop me, listen, super chat, Venmo, PayPal, X, you know, uh, cash app, give it, you know, send it all. If you can say X, can you send money on Twitter? Yeah. There's a tip function. I have it in a, oh, I should take, I, uh, oh, it's just my PayPal on there though. It doesn't have okay. my bank info. I didn't know that. Anyway, but yeah, I, I could use money. Uh, rocks and blocks. How do you think Mike Grinder got Miriam's police report that he put on his blog? Oh, he, he fucking falsely connect, contacted them and uh, got them to send it to him. He's, he's a, well, that sounds like he actually contacted them and got them to send it to him. <laughs> what do you mean falsely contacted them? I think she means like falsely represented himself. Right under false pretense uh, gained yeah. access to it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. We got it. He's the head of, <laughs> former head of OSA. Of course he knows how to insert himself into this shit and get things that are not publicly available. He even said in his blog that he wrote to the detectives that were in charge of the case and, and completely inserted himself into the conversation that he was not part of. So he asked. <laughs> this is what, the, what she means. <laughs> she, so she asked, or, or he asked. Uh, how dare he if he was operating in the capacity of doing some kind of journalism maybe about something that happened uh, asking for uh, copies of police reports <laughs> he asked <laughs> falsely uh aren't a lot of police reports like public in in a lot of states uh, that i don't know i do, i don't i don't know uh, for sure i don't i don't I think know in what... florida where clearwater is like all police reports are public which is why you hear all those articles about like florida man does this right yeah that i don't know i don't i don't know what the circumstances around this particular thing was but the long and short of what you just said is he asked okay yeah <laughs> yeah uh that's my question too trolling pretending they are anti-scientology but no action or support thank you mary james yes 
they don't do anything to combat Scientology. They are not here to support. So carefully look through who you're connected to on the internet, where they are on Reddit, what they're doing all day. They're not your friends. Most of those people, honestly, are paid professional trolls. <laughs> there we have it, folks. Uh, paid professional trolls. Is that the same thing as paid shills? That is absolutely i mean yes the distinction okay, without so a difference. she's she's accusing everyone of being paid shells now this is correct she's <laughs> she's star moon and okay. she's star moon and out <laughs> yep <laughs> <laughs> so that that would the thing where she's saying that those people don't say anything negative about uh, scientology by the way that would be a criticism she couldn't level at uh, me actually so that wouldn't mm. work actually they are osa operatives okay that are using monkey ears using anonymous names and things like that okay and osa much like russia <laughs> full of people that just sit there all day stirring the pot on scientology pretending to be exes pretending to be supporters doing all this stuff guys i've read how many policies have i read about this how many times do I have to reveal the man behind the curtain before you guys are going to get it? So please, guys, even if you're somebody who's here from the Potato Head Foundation, from Reddit, and you're just like fucking uh, lurking, right? Uh, do yourself a favor and look at the actions of uh, these people that you're cheering on in these places and ask them directly, what have you done? to take down Scientology. I dare, I dare anybody to ask them, what have you done to take down Scientology? And if they say, oh, well, in 2008, I was an anonymous and I protested. Okay, great. That was 2008. My answer would be nothing. I'm, I'm, you may not like the work that I do, but I'm, I'm primarily a, a journalist. Uh, I mean, you make videos and articles and it sounds like that is what she does. So... I mean, if it's valid for her to do it, then I feel like it, it is valid for you to do it, right? We had a lot of fun, actually. I forget what it was. I think it was last week we watched uh, this video that was uh, from the Cult of Scientology about all of L. Ron Hubbard's supposed uh, accomplishments. And boy, howdy, was that fun. <laughs> <laughs> because it was it was all bullshit and we were we were just we were just <laughs> clowning it because also they were like showing these pictures of these hella lady ass pictures of him and shit like <laughs> <laughs> what was that book that we used to read from for uh during the plex we used to do like dramatic readings uh, from the uh, axiom of the stable datum that's right yeah the stable datum that was <laughs> that was that was very fun because literally like you could just turn to any page and it's just the most nonsensical gibberish for like, for like as many paragraphs as you're willing to read. <laughs> it's 16 years later. What are you doing now? To I would suggest to you that the internet activism in the late 20 to the late 2000s was the possibly the most effective thing that ever happened uh, in a opposition of Scientology and the primary reason that no. they have a very hard time recruiting because the internet is just flooded with the fucking I guess like residue of of all that stuff that happened. Yep. Scientology or are you just shitting on ex Scientologists second gens who are being vulnerable, telling their whole story, putting their face out there for the world to see and bringing awareness to Scientology. What are you doing? What have you done? Um, I don't know. I've gone on. I mean, other... like putting your face out there online isn't really doing a whole lot to battle Scientology. Like making <laughs> YouTube videos is not super effective. I'm not going to say it's completely ineffective. You might stop some people from joining Scientology and that's a good thing, but like, it's not like that's the most effective thing that any person could do. You know, it's, it's reasonable and that's fine. And like crapping on other people for doing the same thing, I think is, is dishonest. Yeah, I, this this is really weird because I don't think there's like much left to do. I think it's like 
<clears throat> I think it's like just like fucking light a cigarette and watch Scientology crumble. I don't know. That's that's like, <laughs> that's like yep. just, yeah. Not in the last sixteen years. Okay. And make funny T-shirts and and hats yes. about how dumb Scientology is. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Fight with words with an effing word clear. Thank you. Thank you, Nitas. Thank you for acknowledging my status. <laughs> uh, Karen just sent you something on PayPal. Thank you. Oh what what did that person call her? She was saying something about a word clear, which is like a Scientology term. I'm not exactly sure what that person meant, if I'm gonna be completely honest. A word clearer? A word clearer. Yeah, I don't know if she was calling Nora that or if she was saying that the other people that are criticizing her that, but like word clearing, I don't even know exactly what the fuck that means in Scientology. I guess somebody in chat is saying that her job in the cult was a word clearer. This is like, I don't have perfect knowledge about the internal workings of Scientology. So some of this, okay. some, of, some of what's happening in her chat is like in-group talk that comes from okay. the cult of Scientology, which I find a little bit odd actually yeah pension guys don't give me your pension i love you karen I, 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 please you need that money to survive well that's that's ethical thank you nora yeah if you're on a fixed income don't give me your money either unless your fixed income is like significant and then give me half of it i will make it go right <laughs> if you can, i'll take it but like don't give me things you don't have okay don't ever do that are you going to replace your intro song with bitch better have my money <laughs> I should. I should. Because they call me a grifter anyway. Why not just fully embrace it? Yeah, get all your videos demonetized by using a, a very popular song. Good job. <laughs> Shelton can fuck off into the forever. Yep. 100%. 100%. Nathaniel, uh, I was a journalist for many years and I agree with you. He's a blogger commentator. I don't know what that is. Okay. Uh, I know where we are here to support you and all the gems and call it the BS, but I have to say you're looking fabu today. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yes. The hair is growing out guys. The hair is growing out. Appreciate. Um, Donna Hannah, you know, nobody does it like you, Nora. You tell them what's up because you speak the truth. What can we do to help these sites get exposed for who they really are as your Google users? Um, guys, if you see it, you know, uh, uh Oh, she's going to, she's going to fucking break a rule right here. I think she's going to tell these people to fucking brigade people. Oh no. I think she's going to do it. Uh, you know, if it's hate or harassment, report it as such. Oh. Report it as no. such. That's okay. your judgment. I'm not telling you specific content to report because that's against you, Google's terms of service, unlike what they've done on. That's Reddit. why you're yeah. not telling people to do that? Because you should be not telling people to do that because it's unethical. And not for nothing. That should be the reason why you don't do it. Not for nothing. It's also it's not just against uh, YouTube, Google's terms of service. It's also against Reddit's terms of service and Discord's terms of service. So if she thinks that the subreddit or the uh, or the Discord server are doing that, she could report that. But they would find no such thing. Reddit's maybe more likely to find it just because of the culture at Reddit being like much shittier in most ways than the culture on Discord. Reddit's also Reddit also allows more of that stuff, and that's why the culture at Reddit is like that, mm -hmm. I suppose. Yeah. Gathering the troops to mass report me for false shit. Okay. But if you see something on YouTube that you feel is harassment or hate or misinformation, you can report it as such. You can report it as such. What are the odds that this gets brigade reported when we put it on YouTube? Uh, what our video? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, hi, Rankle, probably. <laughs> whatever you're doing, it's right, and you must have gotten them scared if they're trying so hard to take you down. But you are a goddamn Wonder Woman, Deadpool, and you're mothering so hard. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, <laughs> but also maybe keep a detailed file of everything they're doing. What Stephanie did to Liz and Aaron, for that matter, should be punishable by law. Correct. Correct. No, no, she wrote a, a uh, an opinion piece on her blog. That's literally they the when the when the people who made this country they got a lot of shit wrong, but the one of the one of the first things they did was made it so that isn't illegal. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You can criticize whoever you want as long as you're not defaming them. <laughs> Aubrey Fletcher, Reddit is trash. This is true. This is true. Aubrey, Based. This is true. Uh, Reddit is trash. Your hair looks great. <laughs> I know that it's not what this video is about, but I feel it needs to be said. Thank you. Thank you guys for the hair compliments. Um, 
Matt Elliott, not even the balls enough to post comments under their real name. Correct. Cor- yeah, I think that might be one of the reasons she's that they're going to be hesitant to come after us because I don't use my real name on here, but it would be fucking trivial to find out my government name, right? Yours too. You even include your last name. Yeah, if you look up my Mastodon, uh, like if you look me up on Mastodon, that is my real name. <laughs> you will find my real name. And I give my Mastodon handle at the beginning of every episode. Also, the people that she seems <laughs> angriest at, she's using their real name in this, <laughs> which yep. is fun. That's fun. <laughs> Let's just, I get to be anonymous. I have privacy on the internet. Like, guys, it's 2024. It's 2024. My dear, I love you on fire. That and? is badass Nora Pool, but please also take care of your health and take a deep breath. I say that out of concern for you. Love you, lady. Yes. I am. Thank you. We'll just take it down a notch here. Thank you. Uh, Gonna faucet. Uh, Oh, look at that caterpillar comment. I love spicy Nora. Thank you. Leandra Locke. I know it's hard, but try to a not let them get to you so much and B don't even respond. It's exactly what they want to get you upset. Don't give them power. Oh shit. Leandra knows exactly what I am and who I am. Fuck. <laughs> um, you know, yes, this is a response of sorts, but I want to point out that they are using, uh, sorry, they're violating YouTube's terms of service with false claims against me and Aaron, and their site is nothing but a hate site. It is not uh, a Scientology uh, takedown site. They are not fighting Scientology. They are basically the new incarnation of of osa's hate sites the stand league and all this other stuff because nobody looks at the stand league they get no visitors so what have they done they finally adapted to 2024 good job listening to me osa and they've made the sptv unvarnished thread they've made the potato head foundation and all these other things these are osa ops this is clear as day stephanie hutchison like flipping on her head that's just mike getting in her brain huh just complimenting her so much oh yeah this person stephanie couldn't have any agency of her own somebody else is telling her what to write on her own blog that's well she's already explained that everyone else is a paid chill they're also everyone who criticizes her is a paid chill they're also all stephanie but somehow steph the only person who isn't stephanie i suppose is this is mike rinder who's in her head this is all very, this is all like, <clears throat> this is, this, this is like literally like a distillation of a lot of the different things we've been talking about, not just recently, <laughs> but over the last push in 10 years now. To be honest, you and I are probably Stephanie too. I said, We're all a little bit Stephanie. Of work I've done. Hopefully uh, that helps connect. I, I will check my email. I will check my email. Trolls are people who realize actual activism is hard, but righteous indignation and belligerence are easy. Oh, so Nora's a troll. Because all I've seen is righteous indignation <laughs> and belligerence. <laughs> Itches. Yep. Yep. The tattoos are awesome. Thank you. Well, you saw them in real life, Amber. You saw them in real life. Um, this is not the right way. This is not, that is not the right way. Okay. How should we protest with your phone in your pocket? Exactly. Like I love every single protester out there. I appreciate you. I appreciate your style. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your effort. Please keep doing it. You, the protesters are making the biggest. I mean, there are, there are effective ways to protest and there are like ineffective ways to protest. And then there are like the opposite of effective ways to protest, like ways that will damage your cause. Right. And also just like general, like, like OPSEC would say that everybody there shouldn't be streaming. If you were concerned about no. the organization that you were going after taking some kind of a, uh, Retaliatory, retaliatory action against you maybe maybe not filming maybe not maybe not maybe everybody filming the entire time and make and getting everybody's faces on the video maybe not great opsec no <laughs> ever happened in the history of fighting scientology do not stop do not stop showing up do not stop putting the information and the real time showing that scientology is dying out there Please keep talking to people on the street. Please keep letting. Yeah, but some of them end up getting a smacking when they talk to the people on the street. Nora, that's not smart. Nobody should get a smacking. Maybe if they were nice to the people on the street, be like, "Hey, do you know we're out here protesting? Do you have a minute to talk?" 
<laughs> and then the person's like, oh, you're already filming me. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> there's seven people filming me. No, I don't have time to talk. <laughs> Clearly, they must be a Scientologist then. Know the truth about Scientology because it is shutting their doors. They are losing memberships. They are losing public interest. They cannot get people in the door. That is because of you guys. So actually, when public interest about Scientology seemed highest was during the time that the internet was doing the most damage to the cult, I think. Yeah. The protests every day. Do not ever stop doing that. Please, I beg you. No matter what. I mean, I feel like a big part of it is just that like Scientology hid from the public what Scientology was about for so long, like what they truly believed in. And then finally it was kind of revealed that like, okay, yeah, when you get to like the, the upper levels of Scientology, they tell you like, we just, we just worship a space alien. To be fair, he's we the think bad that guy. We think that there was a space alien that came to Earth in DC nines and he put everyone into volcanoes and the volcanoes blew up. And that's how we arrived here. Uh, thank you for the $500,000 that you've paid us so far. Um, you know, now, now that you've paid all that money, you, you'll probably, you know, it's, it hurts a little less or you'll, you'll have that. Uh, what do you call it? The lost, uh, sunk cost fallacy sunk cost fallacy so like you know you're more likely to believe in the xenu story and that we just told you <laughs> elton or tony ortega who are not supporting you who the aftermath foundation people aren't supporting you. mark and claire came back where's their support of the protesters where's their love for the people who are getting the word out about like that that to me once that got out that was the most damaging so, to south park or so to what she just talked to about south, <laughs> south park was one of the big vehicles of putting that out but that was the most damaging to scientology so again she keeps acting like it, that it's required that people like you know give a shout out to these protesters and i think that i've <clears throat> without having to say too much about it you can outline why like people would think it's bad i just think that everybody doing it yep. for clicks and content and everybody filming everybody and everybody filming passersby and and people like some of them have like harassed members of the cult some of them have harassed people who aren't even members of the cult because they i don't know walked by twice and so like that's yeah. why that's that's why we think it's uh, bad and stupid it's the the tactics yeah. not the fact that people are protesting it's the tactics are stupid and aren't they aren't making people like scientology i don't think they're i think that's i think that fucking i think that spaceship has sailed <laughs> Or whatever the fuck that uh, asbestos fucking that asbestos contaminated boat his uh asbestos and measles contaminated boat has sailed, but you're, you're they're just making themselves look dumb. That's all. No. Where's that love, Mark and Claire? Hmm. I don't hear it. I don't hear it. Oh. <sighs> Let's see here. One more super chat flew in. Mexican long hair is in the house. Love it when you call out BS. Keep on rocking. I love you, Mexican long hair. Thank you for protesting. Thank you for being out there. Thank you for putting your face and your life on the line for this cause that you, you cover your face into, that you took up on your own volition. I appreciate you. Okay, guys, let's go now. I'm going to pull it up. Let's pull it up. Oh, this is going to be her horrible AI generated song. And we're going to go to <laughs> Liz Gale. Okay. She is premiering in five whole minutes. Let me pull it up here. Oh, okay. Let's this is just the end. She's like promoting another bestie. channel and that's fine. That's fine. Liz she can Gale. promote another channel. So that was, there's some of the stuff was kind of far down the rabbit hole, but I don't think you needed mm -hmm. a huge background in like the, the turn of events or whatever that has happened to sort of understand what's going on there. Yeah. Yeah, that was um a lot of what I learned from her is that she uh has a very particular way of quote fighting Scientology and if you disagree with that then clearly 
you are working for Scientology in her words. And that to me is just like a really bad take. Like it, it makes people, it makes normal, rational people not want to be on your side because you're basically telling them like, it's my way or you're not my way or the highway, but like, you know, it's, if you're, if you're not in favor of my tactics, then you're in favor of this other entity in this case, Scientology. Yeah. It's even dumber than if you're with us, you're against us, right? It's like, if you, yep. you're, or you're either with us, you're against us. It's you're either with us. And if you uh, have, uh, cri- cri- if you're critical of, of us, you're actually with this specific group of people. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's that to the extreme, right? So it's, it's just really bad. And I think it's, it kind of legitimize legitimizes the criticisms of her. Like I, I don't know them, but like to me, it sounds like if that's your argument against them, then that's a, a very poor retaliation against being criticized. So yeah. outside of the specific incidents that you don't know anything about, the criticism of, of her has generally been the criticism that you just leveled actually. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't cover all of it or whatever, but that's been a, a big part of the criticism that's been leveled against her outside of like individual incidents and individual like things she's done that have been, uh, I'd say distasteful, which again, you wouldn't know about, but you kind of got the gist. And, uh, no. that was a, a two hour, uh, episode of the podcast, which is pretty rare, but you know, <laughs> I just figured like there was, there was no reason not to finish it. Cause the video was like 37 minutes. Um, and with that, you feel like uh, reading out our show, HK? All right. Thank you for tuning in. This has been the Intellectual Dollar Tree. We do this show every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Pacific right here on twitch.tv slash Echoplex Media. Uh, if you would like to support us, you can do that on patreon.com slash Echoplex, or you can support us by buying our merch at eplex.store. You can also sign up to be a member on there. Uh, and if you would like to check us out live, we do Red Light after the show uh which plays uh which happens right after the song we're about to play uh so if you're on the podcast we'll see you later and if you're watching live we'll see you right after this song this is boomers by periscope